Good morning peeps and today we're doing a floating plant island, Tracy Island, on steroids. <laughs> we have one set of instructions, I'll file them. We have one grill in the way, I'll file that. We have one bag of soil, because the wife insists I put her plants in soil. One floating thing. One hose pipe, obviously not needed. And one very dirty, disgusting winter table. Right, here we have marsh marigold, commonly known as polypetula. Giant marsh marigold, okay. Apparently it flowers next month. It flowers next month. Not a problem. This is the Asian version, oh it's an import. Oh my god, how could we? Green leaves of almost 12 inches, yeah, the, uh, the uh, plants. Frogs, fish, the dogs that swim in our pond will love eating it, right. Yeah, that looks about right, bit of sun, gravel on top. Plenty of places for the flies to nest. Yeah, that'll do. Two of them in there. We need uh, one bag of soil. One nature modified opening device, commonly known as a finger. Ah, there we go. Oh, that soil's horrible and wet. Can't put that in the pond, it's wet. Can tell you tell I've got my camera one, man, person individual with me today. Right, we're going to throw some blasted aquatic soil in there because it tells me, it tells me, the cameraman tells me, the camera person tells me, they're uh, just there, tells me it needs soil. You know it actually doesn't need soil, there's enough nitrates and nitrites in that pond to feed several thousand of these plants. But let's not work. This soil stinks. Yeah. I knew there was a reason I didn't let you do too much gardening. You buy smelly soil. Right, so we're going to put some of that in there. I'm going to tamp it down in a minute because you know what koi are like. They're going to be in this quicker than I can get a beef burger in me gut. Right. We're going to take one plant, give it a squidge, file the pot. We're going to say, that's too high, give him an O. One in each corner, boss. Yeah, that's my other. Okay, that'll get cut for being racist, there you go. Never was politically correct, never claimed to be. I take it you'd like the label with it. No. Okay, no labels. You'll remember what they are. Okay. Does anybody believe this? Yes, neither did I. Don't worry about it though. This is why you get married, so somebody can cause you grief and give you dirty hands for the rest of your life. Oh, that one's nicely root bone. Let's give him a spread. According to Mr. Titchmarsh, it just fell apart on me. Yeah, there is no such thing as doing things wrong with plants. He reigns, if it feels right, do it. And I'm in total agreement with that. I mean, how can it be wrong? It's not like the plant sat there and went, No, no, don't plant me yet, I'm not ready. No, it just didn't do that. It just most definitely did not shout at me. Yeah, although the daughter does if I steal the strawberries before her. There you go. Yes, we've even planted strawberries. Not this year yet though. Need to get some. Right, we've got some more cheap crap aquatic. Let's rip somebody off soil. I'll we'll fill up the voids left by the plant with this smelly soil, which I'm going to donate to the cameraman later. I'll chase them around and stuff my hands under their nose. Right, now we're gonna pack it down. 
that reason for packing it down, so I'm led to believe, is so the little beasties don't go and eat the roots. Personally, I must have rid of that leaf. Didn't want that one. I've always thought it's to stop them growing so fast. But you never know, I'm no specialist on plants. If I had my way, you know, I'd grow weeds because they're all pretty at the end of the day. And they're all planties and they all flower in their own way. So it don't really matter, does it? What's that look like? Oh look, we've got a tie hole. Two tie holes. It's even got a button so you can put its shirt on. I'm quite sure that's not for the shirt, but there. Yeah. Perhaps you've got to buy sweaters to keep it warm in winter when the pond freezes. No? Perhaps it's for giving it a set of boots so it can stand on the button down. I can't swim. No? See, this is what I have to put up with. A wife that's too serious, can't talk. Have you noticed she's mute? If I wind her up enough, she'll tell me to bugger off sooner or later. Which is always good fun. Right, this plant, in theory, is going to go bleh, grow in all directions and grow me a nice big pad of leaves that the fish can hide under. Then all the flies will land on it, lay eggs, and the fish will eat the eggs and the plant, and I'll have no plant left. Excellent value for money. So, right, I need some gravel, don't I? Okay, I'm back. I've been to the Chinese and I've got Chinese gravel. This is a speciality. Yes, it costs lots per money. And it goes along with AVE's tap water, you know, for tapping things. So, we're going to add these to the top. This is again to hopefully keep the koi at bay. Not at home, they're going to eat the stones or grab them, spit them out and then go and eat the plant. But, my wife's convinced, so of course I am. Honest. Typical Chinese, all gone and I'm still hungry. Right, spread it out. And then we're going to hassle my wife some uh, nylon cotton. You know the stuff that I gave her, because it was real cotton rather than cheap crap. And we're going to float it down, hopefully, in the stream that comes off the pond. Which means it will float down towards the middle of the pond and then the cotton will stop it running off. And hopefully the fish won't eat the cotton rather than the plant. But we'll find that out in a minute. So she pauses the video. We'll... And here we go. We are now at the good ship launching... Uh, ooh, got to name it. Square floaty Tracy Island thing. Yeah, that'll do for me, you know. If it sinks, it's your fault. You told me to put the gravel in. Damn, it didn't sink. Yeah, let's throw it into the uh, outputs from the pumps and see where we end up, and that'll decide on where we tie it. Fishing line, look. Fishing line. Here it goes. Bye bye, Tracy Island. Uh -huh. Fish. Food, food! Can we eat that? Damn it, it's big! What do you reckon about there? Mm -hmm. Alright. I need to tie it off then. Where am I tying it? I'll tell you what, you stand there and I'll tie it to the camera. No? God, she's so miserable. Did I really marry this person? It was all a con, it was valid one year only and they conned me! No! Ooh, look, sharp knife. Am I allowed sharp implements? Probably, it's drifting this way now, look. How boring is that? I could go tight to the other end of the pond, we have got like 3,000 metres of this stuff. Oh dear. I think I'll tie it here rather than the other side. In this messy bit with all the other messy bits. Yeah, but we'll tie it by not tying it. So if I cut my fingers with the knife, oh. put the cotton down, 
I've now made monkey because I've got dirty hands, not dirty hands. Oh, my wife's fault, yet again. You know, she went, can we have a small pond? Yeah, and it was, what, five foot square and three foot down, and she went, that's lovely. And then she said, oh, I found some free fish for you. Yeah, a hundred fish later, and I'm going, I ain't fitting all these in here. Oh, well, can we make the pond bigger? So it got a little bit bigger, you know, 16 foot bigger. And then it was like, well, well, you can't swim anymore. How about getting rid of your swimming pool? Notice my swimming pool. Yeah, her fish, my swimming pool. Bye bye. How does this work, eh? How the hell does it work? My pool. I ain't finishing fi swimming in fish poo and fish wee. Tell them to stop weeing in the water and get out and do it like normal fish instead of being bloody disgusted and pissing in their own water. It's just not allowed. See, all the fish have legged it now because I'm bashing the side. It's sinking. If it sinks, sinks, do I have to laugh? It's your thingy. It's sinking, look. This is down to you. Is it actually going to go back to where it should be? And hey, that's far too long today. Here we go, here we go. Boink. I've caught an island. This is going to be really annoying, you know this. It's going to get stuck in all the wrong places and annoy the crap out of me. I'm not really going to get many complaints over this video, am I? Go on. Bye bye. What's that like? It might stay there. Going to sing. Should have named it Lollipop. Then I could have sung on the good ship Lollipop. Shall we come back in an hour and see if the fish have eaten it or it's sung? Okay. Would you like to pause then and we'll go and throw stones at it? Two weeks growth on garlic in no soil. Look at it. Look at it. Here, look. Have the smell of that. Did you just smell it? Stop moving, will you? Stand still while I let you smell the garlic. How nice is that garlic? And look at this chive plant. Look, look. Oh, garlic and chive. Mmm, nice. Do you want some? Dirty fingers, then. Do you want some dirty fingers? No, I know cameraman doesn't get dirty fingers. Okay, that's enough of plants. You got that recorded? <laughs> Tracy Island people! Sunk. Compliments of my camera person. Sunk. To the bottom. Can I rescue it? Not without having gravel in the bottom of my pond. And a very cold arm. <coughs> God, get out there, lean over there you, so you get wet as well when I dump this on the side. Cold hand! No, I'm going to have gravel on the bottom I think. And what have you got to say for yourself? I'm sorry. Yes, I should think so as well. 
God, that is cold. God, God, sugar. Norman, ow. It sank. Mm. It wasn't me that sank it. Mm. Shall we remove the stones? No, I think it's too much soil. It did say a couple of inches at the bottom and then fill it with gravel, not the other way around. I don't see it, it makes a huge difference. Do you want to take it over to the table and... You can pause that if you want. And then people won't have to see you. I see I'm going getting dirty hands again. Hold that, will you? How come it's always me getting dirty hands? Digging big holes in the countryside so the wife can go, yeah, that's about right. Honest. Geese. Have you ever considered becoming a manager in a company? It's no good standing there giggling, pretending you're not shaking the camera around. I can see you are. You'd make a good manager. Go do that. Well, why is it sunk? You obviously didn't do your job right. Look! How is it my fault? Which part have I let the wife read the instructions and then she stands there and doesn't tell me I'm doing it wrong? Yeah, it was my fault. Hold that. All right, then go. Uh, here we go. So we didn't need the soil at all. Because I just put most of it back in the bag. Poor plant. Now you've got at least some in there. Oh, did you hear that? The word of God. I have got to leave some. I was going to take this over there, stick it in the pond, since I've already got soil and stones in my pond now, yeah, and wash the soil down to the bottom to see if I've got your recommended inch or two of soil, actually. Sod the washing in there. Soil. Plant. To the plant. And you're saying you fill it with gravel. So I've got to go and get another Chinese, you're telling me. Oh, God. I'll be back in a minute. The camera costed me a fortune, this thing. Look, my Chinese. It sinks this time, I'm reclassifying it as a subaquatic plant, you know. So obviously, can't tamp it down. Come on then, let's walk that way. No, don't walk like that. You are? Yeah. See, this is why men, when they go out shopping for something to help their wife, and I went and bought this cot, well, borrowed it on a permanent basis from a friend. Yeah, came back with 300 meters of it. Because when the wife says, we'll use cotton to make it float out there. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. And you know you're going to end up replacing it four times. So you need at least three times too much. Yeah, the first time you do it with the cotton, the second time with the cotton, the third time with the cotton, the fourth time you just give up and string it off something else. <sighs> I'm pretty sure their marsh plants are not floaty in the bottom plant. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to lift them up some more then? So they're above water level. 
Well, here we are, peeps. Revision 3. An adult went and read the destructions. Good job our daughter's awake, you know. And we're going to redesign what they designed. Like I said, I would do in the first place. And we're going to have some nice fish safe foam slapped in the bottom, which gives us zero weight. Technically, a bit weird, but yeah, I don't know. And then we're going to have, I need that plant a bit higher so it's not underwater. Here we go. I've been using this foam for years, I can't even remember where I got it, but it's after they started complaining about all the arsenicking foam. And I did a check on this one and it doesn't have any, which is really fortuitous. That was a big word for me. Oh, thanks for agreeing. I knew there was a reason you didn't like me. There we go, right. Shall we put some dirty gravel back in since it's now all dirty? Like my hands. I'm telling you, that license said valid one year only. It did. Honest. You and the vicar were con merchants if it didn't. ripped off by a vicar, how could I be? Oh my god. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go to the Chinese again and get some more. Although, yeah, we'll get around. This time, I'm reclassifying them, yes? As fish food. That feels better. So, my general theory on these lovely floating rings, as long as you've got soil that weighs nothing, a plant that's not, doesn't care whether it's floating or not, they're fine. And my only thought now is, you just filled my bum, didn't you? Me walking by. What did you film? Dead plan. You're lying. You know I'm going to watch this and edit it. And I will leave all the bits where you speak in it. Don't pull faces. Oh, yes, I am. You filled my bum. I know what you're like. You're just a nasty woman. That's the problem. So, as long as you've got plants that like living underwater, these floating rings are brilliant. If you've got plants that like to be above the water, mm, I'm going to go for like a, a 3 out of 10, because that's just terrible, it's sank. That already looks a gallon better. Yes? Now all I've got to do, hear me on. God, that's cold. Sorry, fish. Let it blow away. If Tracy Island sinks this time, you're rescuing it. Excellent piece of kit. If you ever get from the pound shop, one quid a go. Brilliant for working in your pond. Besides when your wife wants something like Tracy Island. At which point, not so good. Out there? Yes, she says. You get silent treatment because you're YouTubers. I'm beginning to think she don't trust anybody, you know. Me mainly, mind you. Oh no, hey, ran too far and I fell over there. Sorry about that. I'll try falling over quietly next time, it's always better. Knife. Nice 
See if that works. It's all messy now though. Just like the bottom of me pond. Look, look, pebbles. When the summer's here, you're getting in there and you're fetching them out. 